Hi, if you've wondered, what should I be eating and what should I be doing to prevent cognitive decline? Then this video is for you. I'm gonna review for you the best scientifically based diet approach, as well as other things you can be doing right now, and also some of the common questions I get in my practice every day. People often ask me, what's the best diet to prevent cognitive decline or even restore some cognitive function? And there's a lot of good data on this now. And perhaps one of the best diets out there is something called the MIND diet, which is really a combination of the Mediterranean diet, which I'm a big advocate of, and the DASH diet. And the two of them have a lot of overlap. Basically, we're talking about a diet that intuitively makes a lot of sense. The diet really emphasizes getting in fresh leafy greens, vegetables, every day. Now this is something that we know is important for longevity across the board, but particularly for cognition and protecting the brain. Servings of other vegetables are important as well. And also there's an emphasis on getting a sufficient amount of whole grains. Now these are the unprocessed grains, things like quinoa is a favorite of mine, brown rice, many others. The diet also allows for some fruits with an emphasis on berries. Nuts are also important several times a week. My personal favorite are walnuts, almonds, and to some degree Brazil nuts, because they have some of the best oils that are important for cognitive function. The diet even allows for a glass of wine a day. What the diet emphasizes decreasing or even eliminating are those foods that are harmful and inflammatory, particularly highly processed foods. So snack foods, boxed foods, junk foods, fried foods. These really need to be kept at a minimum or eliminated altogether. The diet also requires a sufficient amount of protein and allowed protein sources come from vegetable sources, but also poultry. And I advocate as clean of a source of poultry as possible and fresh fish. The diet also emphasizes limiting red meat and dairy particularly things like butter, where there's a lot of saturated fat. In general, you want the diet to be low glycemic. This is important for not only cognitive function, but functioning of all of your physiology across the board. Now, let me get into some of the common questions I get. One of them is, is there a best fish to eat? We often hear about salmon, and salmon is great and has a good amount of omega-3 fatty acids. But really, I tell people, eat the fish that you like, because ultimately, that's what will help you to stay compliant with the diet. Another common question I get is people who have a family history of Alzheimer's or dementia or cognitive decline, and they often wonder, is there really anything to do if the genetics are there? Here's the good news. We know that not everybody gets manifestations of dementia, even if they have genes that predispose them to it. And we do know that some of these lifestyle factors, such as diet, I would say particularly diet, as well as exercise, but focusing on diet can make a big difference. A big difference in whether or not those symptoms progress, whether or not you get them at all, and how you weather the storm. Another common question I get is, should I be taking any supplements? And this really depends upon the diet. Supplements I really take on a case-by-case -case basis, but most people know whether or not they're gonna eat a diet that's rich in omega-3 fatty acids, for example. And if somebody says to me, I don't like the aquatic sources, I don't like the seed and nut sources, then that might be somebody that would benefit from taking a supplemental form of them. I'm often asked about NAC and acetylcysteine, since that's something that we study. We particularly study it in Parkinson's populations. What we like about N-acetylcysteine is that it's a precursor to glutathione and probably raises glutathione levels in the brain and thereby combats oxidative stress. Now, whether or not somebody should take it as a supplement who's asymptomatic, there's not great data on, but it is a consideration that we always have as we consider people's unique situations. So if you have concerns about long-term cognition, cognitive decline, the thing that you can be doing today, right now, is one, thinking about the elements of the MIND diet, and follow this one rule that I always follow. Get more plants into your diet, and then secondarily, get more healthy fats into your diet. Both of them are really important. The other thing that's critical, and the data is very compelling, is exercise. As much as you can, as often as you can. These two things 
can make a big difference in the road forward. And also, as we age, it's important to keep our mind active and healthy, stay engaged, stay connected to people, and maintain a sense of purpose in life. So in summary, think plant-based diet, getting as many vegetables in as you can, lots of healthy fats, and exercise, exercise, exercise.